Hey, Math 31, I had a question on section 5.4, number 61. And this was asking us to use synthetic division, but we have a complex divisor. In this case, same, same ideas apply as always. So since my divisor is x plus i, I'm going to put minus i right here. And since my coefficients up top are 1 and 1, that's why you see the 1 and 1 here. So let me just erase my little scratch marks there. Here we go. We're going to bring the 1 down, right? 1 times negative i is negative i. And when I go ahead and I, oops, I don't know what that was. When I add these, I get 1 minus i. So that's it. This is my remainder. So as we start to go through this, let me erase what I have here. So if we, if we look, we started here with a first degree polynomial on top. So I'm going to lower the degree by 1. When you lower the degree by 1, you're just to the constant right? Because the constants have no x variables in them. They're degree zero. And here is my remainder. So if I look at my, again, my coefficients, I've got a one here. So that's going to be, oops, excuse me, that's going to be the one. And then plus my remainder of one minus i over my original divisor. And that's it. That's number 61. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.